Happy holidays, happy new year, you guys. This one is tough. My favorite reverbs, 2022. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Plus TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mix Plus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. And keep an eye out for the next live mixing class. Those are one-offs and tickets are limited. And finally, if the videos are helping you or you simply want to give us a Christmas gift, use the super thanks and support the channel. Let's get to the video. Even though this is gonna be a quick list as we did for the previous best of videos, I'm gonna take a minute and play with each and every one of these plugins and tell you what I like them for, what are the characteristics that make me pick these ones as opposed to others, because one of the common question is how do you choose your reverb, right? And also I want you to hear, because I realize we have some pretty amazing effects nowadays. We start with the first one. One of the latest that I got, an incredibly pleasant surprise, because again, I opened it by accident on a track, and I was so impressed with this reverb. It's called Rayom, I think it's pronounced that way, by Native Instrument. It has three modes, or I should say three different reverbs. Airy, Cosmic, and Grounded, but Airy is definitely my favorite. Best here is to play with these things. We start with piano. I absolutely love that note that keeps ringing. That is the feedback control on the Airy algorithm. You can freeze it as you heard me doing just now. It just sounds so freaking good. I love the modulation, super simple to use. And um, of course, I use this for this ethereal kind of reverbs when you actually want the reverb to be heard. But also I found it very useful when you still want to keep like a vocals on in front, but you want the far away tail. This thing is really cool. The other modes are cool to also cosmic. And grounded. All three are really cool. This is definitely gonna be in my mixes a lot. Next one. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Waves IR1, simply because honestly is one plugin that is very, very, very often in my mixes. This is an impulse response plugin, so it all depends on your libraries. My go-to is a library that I'm not sure you can still get. It was called Bricasti M7. And of course, these are the impulses from the Bricasti M7. Now, I also have the 711th reverb. And I like it, I don't love it, and I still go back to these impulse responses for the Bricasti sound. Maybe I'm used to them, but it is what it is. Also, the 480 factory, so the lexicon impulses. You see what I have here. These are my favorite. I really narrowed down my impulse response at pool because I had so many. So these are usually what I use. When do I use this? Well, I use this a lot on drums, for example, because it's got pretty realistic ambience when I use Bricasti or the 480 has a classic lexicon sound. But I also like the SPS 990 for the short rooms. The room simulator are not a classic unit. Let me try it for you. Great halts, but also great rooms, like I said, for drums, for example.
And with this, I also use the studio algorithms here to do the invisible ambient around the voices. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. All right, so you kind of only hear it when you take it away. Those studio algorithms are great. And of course, I picked this one, first of all, because I'm used to it. Second, because you can, second, because you have control over the ER independently from the tail. There's a decorrelation slider, which is really cool, a full parametric kick and all the other bells and whistle. Arturia intensity, what I like about this one, to me, it sounds very classy and refined, but the modulation, of this plugin is what gets me. I don't know, I just like it. It has a really pleasant modulation and I usually don't have to tweak it that much. Even on melodic material, which uh, you, you have to pay attention with the modulation, especially a piano, a violin, strings, if it drifts too much, it feels like out of pitch. With this one, I get modulation, but I never get the out of pitch feeling. You hear very smooth, very luscious. He also has an advanced panel here, which is linked to the feedback control when you can really start to uh, write your own modulation, post filter, pre filter built in. Really, really cool plugin. This is a classic SP2016 uh, by Eventide. There's not much else to say. This is a classic sound. I adore this reverb. For some reason, I tend to use it on lo-fi elements. Not that this plugin is lo-fi itself, but for some reason, I link in my head this plugin to lo-fi elements. So whether it's a hip-hop loop, a distorted muffled drums, or distorted vocals, something like that. You can use it on everything, but uh, particularly, I like the position slider front to rear, which is very useful to position elements in the mix, especially if you have them really wet. And it works well for guitars and arrangement or synths. Totally love the front and rear slider. <laughs> I would play with that all day. Eventide SP 2016. Number five, I raved about this one in the dedicated video that we have on the channel. This is a new and updated version of the RET Space Station, Wurza Major. This is a secret weapon for so many engineers and finally we have it in a plugin form. For me, this goes again, amazing on drums, amazing on anything where I don't wanna say you want an invisible ambient because you can actually pick it up. It has a very specific sound because we have here four taps, right? The feeds, the delay, blah, 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 blah. Go watch the dedicated video if you wanna actually understand well how this uh, unit works. But anything that is short and impactful. So I might have this ready on a fader to throw on a chorus on vocals or on drums or on a synth, anything that is gonna be this is the impact. It's something more added that you cannot really pick and realize what it is, but that's what it is. So short ambient slapback effects. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. 
all right it has a really nice cascade of uh, delay that's how it works with this tail that is adjustable you want to hear it or you don't want to hear it. you want to make it invisible or not into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all let my guard down now you pull the rug listen to how great this is to like create ambient around the vocal without any tail I guess I kind of like the way you helped me escape Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to Audio RT Space Station, Ursa Major, next one. Oh, this is so cool, Spaced Out by Baby Audio. Is it Baby Audio? Yeah, I think it's Baby Audio. I just love this plugin. I think it won some kind of award for one of the new best plugins and absolutely deserved. As the name implies, you want to use this for big and wide and modulated effects. Sometimes I actually like to use just the reverb because it sounds really, really great. And I love all the modulation. We have lush, trippy, alien and cosmic. Uh, probably Lush is my favorite, but they are all really great. Super easy to use, and it also has additional features like the Stardust that I love, clean up, mellow, all the filters, docking, everything that you need. It usually ends up on vocals, maybe not the lead vocal, but all the background, um, big harmonies, synths, anything that you want, Lush, wide, and modulated. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all Let my guard down, now you pull the rug I was getting kind of used to being someone you love Sounds so cool on piano as well I love the long tails on this one are so nice it makes me want to make music with long <laughs> reverbs another one that is spacey but not spacey in a modulated way but more like clean and pristine you hear high quality and it's also a workhorse reverb that I usually put on delays pre or post UVI spark verb this I associate is and I usually use it on uh, EDM and electronic music. And this might be your first advanced reverb if you're learning reverb because of this. This GUI and this type of selection of a reverb is just brilliant in my opinion. I played immediately with the density because this is the one control that immediately it changes the feel of the reverb whether you want it part of the lead synth and be heard or you kind of want it detached and just sustain the lead sound this is where you go the density is the first control that I touch I absolutely love this plugin I love this plugin UVI is the kind of company that you just you can't trust their effects period and like I said this is the plugin that you want to use if you're still learning because let's go back to the galaxy if you pick one you can see change you can see changing the parameters and you can blend look at this when you move to another in between settings this is just so freaking cool and you can of course lock one parameter or more than one parameter we're gonna lock the mix there
no other plugin <laughs> changes what 20 parameters at once and blend all the different presets together you gotta have Sparkware. All right, we already are at the last three because I didn't want to make the video too long. There are a, a million other reverb out there. I know, I probably have them all and I probably tried them all and I <laughs> narrowed them down to this. Classic TC8210. This is simply my most used reverb for the past three, four years, I guess. It's just a freaking workhorse and for me, even though I try five plugins on a given track and they all sound amazing by themselves, this one is the one that fits better in the mix. Of course, it has the legendary TC Hall as one of the algorithms. And mind you, I don't like all the algorithms on this reverb. For example, I'm not a fan of the plate and the spring. Uh, live and club, I don't use that often, although I do use them. But TC Hall, box, ambient and room, are just such workhorse for me. And let's try with the vocal first. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. Love it. And also, you know, it's super easy to change low color here, high color here. I'm using the controller right now, but you don't have to use the controller. You can use the plugin without the controller. As for the short rooms. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being in some. This is what I mean. Same for guitars. But like I said, the club and live are cool. I would be a bit lost without this plugin, TC8210. The 250 is also cool, but it's more one specific emulation, one sound. This is so versatile for me, but, and it doesn't have a million uh, options, so. All right, last two, Valhalla reverbs, just go and get them all. This is just, is that easy, because I could have put all the Valhalla reverbs here, actually everything they make, all the modulation, Uber Mod is an absolutely insane plugin, super massive, the new one is absolutely crazy. The Vintage Beat Reverb just updated with a bunch of new algorithms, just like in case it wasn't versatile enough already. These are, I wanna say industry standard, like I think pretty much everybody has one or two or four Valhalla reverbs in their mixes. The plate is also amazing, but I wanted to pick Valhalla Shimmer because first of all, I use it on Bella's vocals, so I'm attached to it. And second, because I wouldn't know what to do without it. When I need the Valhalla Shimmer, the of course big and huge and airy and just ethereal kind of reverb, that's it, that's my go-to. It's perfect, it sounds amazing, and I wouldn't know how to replace it. For vocals, usually this is what I do. Start with the conservative size, I pick, I pick one of the stereo, medium, big or small, depending on the case. I actually have a dedicated video on mixing vocals where I explain, and I use this plugin, and I explain when and how pick one versus the other, depending on the elements. I think it's either on mixing vocals or is called a three something reverb trick. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. 
let my guard down now you pull the rug i was getting kind of used to being someone you loved all right when you want to separate the vocals still have it in your face and you want this very far and long tail i absolutely adore this plugin of course is a must on synths as well Last one, TC Electronic System 6000 VSS 4 HD. Undoubtedly the Bentley of reverbs. Finally, we have it outside a very expensive system 6000 in native form. And this is such a legendary plugin. Where would you use this one? Well, of course, lead vocals, any lead element, any element when you want the plugin to sound expensive, to sound just like you hear in records in the mix perfectly blended and when you want to create a real space so you go inside up and you have here this ambient jazz club concert hall vienna hall bathroom parking garage living room theater castle hall cinema and some more actually if you want me to do a dedicated video on the vss4 let me know in the comments down below because this is a pretty complicated plugin it definitely has a learning curve and if you guys are interested in it I can try to make a video and go in detail. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now, I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down. Now you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. Guitar. The tails on this one are amazing. This, again, is one of the best plugins that we have available today. Two quick mentions to close the video. One is the soft tube wasted space. We went from the uh, super high quality VSS4 to a lo-fi, greedy little plugin, which is great for, again, anything when you want a character, quirky plugin, great for drums. Super easy to use, no hidden menus. What you see is what you get. And of course, I could not not mention Black Hole. A classic plugin, great for synth, anything where you want to go just overboard and make the reverb itself kind of the star of the moment.
And I think this is it for this video. All the links to these plugins are gonna be in the info box down below. We are still during sales time, so most of them are gonna be discounted or on sale in the links down below. If you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, let me know what are your uh, favorite reverbs. Click the join button down here to access the members only exclusive content. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already. Happy holidays, see you next time.